Hey, it's Glenn at Leica Public Safety. Today we're going to look at Map360 Pro and specifically how to do bullet trajectory routines in Map360. Um, so if we're usually be working off a of point cloud data project, so I'm going to bring up my example that we looked at earlier. And I know that within this setup here, I have um, impaled myself with a trajectory rod. Uh, so I have this nice yellow rod, and, and what we're going to do is kind of come full circle. We're going to go into Map360 and draw a trajectory cone um, using the point cloud data that's included in this project. Um, and then we're going to go um, draw a trajectory cone from this data and then bring it back into tree view at the end of the day. So if we bring up Map360, we got the same scene here except we have all of the data. So we have all this point cloud data. And one of the things we'd want to do um, is kind of limit what we're looking at. We don't want, because we don't want, we need to kind of focus in here on just this little bit of data so we can draw our cone. So part of the way that we would do that is I know I'm sitting in my, this bus stop right here. And let's have a look at a top down view. So when we're doing rods like this, you really want to delete, you know, only look at the points that you want to use. So I can see the bit of the rod here, but to make that easier to see, one of the things you can always do is change into intensity mapping here. We get a little real clear picture of what we want. There are different modes, like some people prefer working in grade sc grayscale to see that, and you can. But I find that using intensity mapping, it works really well for this, for picking out this rod information. So, to not see the, we only really want to work with the points that we want to work with. So we're going to do a clip, and I'm going to click on my tools here to click, um, clip out anything outside this rectangle. So once I kind of set the boundaries here, I'm only going to be looking at this a little bit of point cloud data. And if I change my perspective here, we're going to see that we have some good information to work with and, and nice and clear for us to kind of grab this data for this trajectory rod. Um, so the next thing we would do is pop up under analysis and we'd grab our bullet path reconstruction routine. So in here, this allows us to set up all our settings. We can either pick points along this point cloud information or fence it. Um, I'm going to use the fence option here. So I just have to go around this data and it's make sure this rod is included and hit enter and basically it's going to center right along that rod and draw my line right out from there so um, now we've got our cone we can fine tune a little bit if we want to take it forward or back we can i might bring that in a little closer we can set the length of the cone we can make it closed or open um, we can, I have it set for two, 2D wireframe, but we can make that realistic if we wanted to. Um, I'm going to go back to wireframe here. And once we're kind of done with the routine, we just hit draw and it's going to, that's now going to become part of our drawing here. So we can now have a look around this cone and see, check what it is in the point, full point cloud. We can turn off our clips to get a, um, idea of that as well. We wanted to see the whole scene, we'd be able to do that. And I'm just going to regen my point cloud. There we go. And now we can kind of see where, you know, someone must have snuck up behind me in this hedge, you know. But what the next thing we'd probably do is figure out, we'd want to figure out this angle. So we can go into our labeling tools and, and select our dynamic labels. And let's get the, the angle of that. So we're going to go from this line, basically, to the horizon to figure out what that is. Um, so we just got to pick the points, and it's on this line. And now I've got a 13 degree 
uh, label there where that would be the angle from this line you know versus the horizon so now that I've got that I've, I can use that in my reports and that sort of thing but what we the last thing we could do is say we want to take this object and in addition to using it in our map 360 deliverables we may want to use it in our uh, true view as well as a um, as part of that program to give out to other people that may be needing to see this data on our project. So we can go into the data tab. We can simply click here under HDS and we can, this is a cyclone object, so we can export that. So we're just going to click on export and we're just going to name it. And we're going to hit OK. And now that's all we've had to do is that now this object is exported. So when we bring this, go back into TrueView, uh, we can just click on the file folder here and grab our COE. And it should bring it right into the program. And there we have, we got our cone exported out of Map360 back into TrueView. So we can visualize that and use that as part of our, our TrueView deliverable um, thing. And that's a simple way for us to work with trajectories from Map and bring it back, Map360 and bring it back into TrueView. So hope that helped. Thanks a lot and have a great day.